leg seven of the Moors Millions is next. And uh, this is a longer distance one. This is a four mile one for a long one. And we've got a much bigger field because there aren't so many long distance races this week. So at the top, we've got Take the High Road for Joshua Southern going for a three timer. Sounds Beauty for David Hooley. Combat Bonnie, James Shade, De Banshee Man, Alex Cherry, Labanese, Craig Beckwith, Bird on the Lawn, Darren Thompson, Blue Penny, Martin Leedham, Anaheim, Paul Rhodes, Opponents advantage darren thompson set the trend paul rhodes chrysler's future james shay ninth edition craig allen surge through gray dictate ross martin leland sherry john morgan zami thinker graham clutterbuck napa jury raid for david robertson inquisitress wink for craig allen maritza thomas rogers victory heights david Hooley, blanche Nish, alex cherry and lakota ghost obi-wan so 22 of them then in this over four miles on one furlong and according and away they go and the grey dictate Ross is up in the van early on. They sorted themselves out and getting towards the first of the 21 fences. So 22 horses over 21 fences. Over 32 or so furlongs. And it's Anaheim who's going to set them. That's it by the looks of it. So it's Anaheim in the lead then. By about a length to Sherry in second. And then Chrysalis Future. They spread right across the track as you'd expect. One of the biggest of tracks, this is a big field. You could see some fun and go. Oh, he's gone already. The John Morgan horse, Sherry. He got two round in the last race, and this time he didn't get past the first fence. So Sherry's gone, and it's never too early for Sherry, it would seem. So Anaheim's gone, and set the, Anaheim's in the lead, sorry. Anaheim's five clear of set the trend in second. It's Sherry that's gone, and it sounds like I've been on the Sherry already, but. I haven't, they passed the winning post and uh, they've got about probably three circuits still to go and it's Anaheim in the lead, they sorted themselves out and I'm sure one or two of these that are running wide will try and get in to the inner sooner rather than later, they will stream over that one nicely there with Anaheim setting the pace with five or six lengths clear of a stable mate set the trend and they do now start to cut across most of them dictate Ross's third Serge's fourth and then Blanche Neige and Chrysalis future there's a little bit of a gap then to Blue Penny and take the take the long road as they get over number three and down on its nose there towards the back was Inquisitor's Wink and a long way to go and a long time to recover from that mistake but Anaheim is in front coming down to fence four so they all pop over that we see them all over it nice looking towards the back sounds beauty one of the top weights is just the back marker four miles one furlong a long way to go giving weight away and the top weights might struggle as they get down to this ditch we see them all over that one they all got over that one okay just lost a one so far then but they're getting well strung out already and it's Anaheim that's setting the pace. Stable mate set the trend is second. Dictate Ross is third. And then Blanche Nege is four. Surge is five. Then take the long road. Then Chrysalis Future and Opponent's Advantage. Blue Pennies in between those two. Then behind that one is Compact Bonnie. The bunch of man's on the outside. Along with Maritz. The ninth edition is getting a little bit closer. So to Labanese. Wide on the track is Zami Thinker. As they get to the sixth. Second of the Greys towards the back, jumped that really well. That was Napa for Jimmy Ray. Uh, Bird on the lawn is also towards the back, looking for the top weight. Going for that three time, I think Joshua Sutherland was take the long road, travelling nicely in that little leading pack at the moment as they get over number seven with Sal's Beauty, the back marker just catching up a little bit to not get detached. But it's Anaheim that leads into number eight. So we'll stream over that one again. We'll jump it nicely. We we'll set the trend second. Dictate Ross third. And then Blanche Nesh fourth. And Surge five. And take the long run on the outside is sixth. And then Blue Penny and Compact Bonnie and opponent's advantage. They take a slight right hand sweep now. And Anaheim is possibly going to be joined by Stable Mate. Set the trend soon within. Two lengths now as it comes to this next plain one. Jump there by Blue Penny and a bad one by Inquisitor's Wink. Towards the back, the second mistake Inquisitor's Wink's made. That's one of the fancy ones I think of a decent racing weight. But it's Anaheim comes into this ditch in front. Over it they all go. And they all got over that nicely. Put on the lawn 
is now the back marker. That one likes to come with a rattle at the end. We saw that in the uh, one of the trials races before the season started. It's not done quite so well since the season started, but it's got plenty of time yet to make up into a decent national horse, which is what it looked like in the trials. And Anaheim is in the lead. I dare say most of these, if not all of them, will be entry bound come the end of the season. Anaheim is in front, set the trend is second. Dictate Ross is third, Blanche is fourth as they take the 11th. All over that okay though, a mistake was made by the Craig Beckwith horse this time. It was Labanese. Anaheim, almost joined now by set the trend as they come up past the stand. Past the winning post and they're going to go around one more time, big old track this, and Anaheim's in front, set the trend is second, Blanche Nidge is third, and Dictate Ross is four, and then comes Take the Long Road, and opponent advantage, and then Surge and Chrysalis Future as they get to number 12, and again they're all over that one nicely, still just lost the one, maybe the pace hasn't been too, too bad, they're not that strung out ready for a four mile, I'm seeing them much more strung out than this in recent weeks, Anaheim, who's led all the way so far. How different would this race have been? I wonder if Sherry hadn't fallen early on. But it's Anaheim in front. If I can set the trend in second as they get over number 14. And over that one they all go. Anaheim and set the trend from Dictate Ross in third. Then comes Take the Long Road 4th and Blanche Neige is 5th and then Maritza and Surge and Compact Bonnie in ninth edition as they get over this ditch. And over that one they go, there's a faller at the back there, Sal's Beauty's gone. Uh, that's one of the top weights out. But it's still Anaheim and set the trend. On well, Dictate Ross 3rd, Take the Long Road, the top weights 4th. Then comes Blanche Neige, leaves one of the bottom weights who's next probably out of the handicap by that one I would think then Maritza and Surge opponents advantages after that one and, and compact body but they're starting to really bunch now as they get over this next one and over that one they all go with Anaheim in the lead just a mile left to race now Anaheim in front set the trend is second take the long road dictate Ross bit of a gap back to Blanche Neige and opponents advantage Take number seven, number 17, sorry. And they're all safely over that one. Inquisitors wink the back marker. But it's Anaheim in front. Anaheim from set the trend. Take the long road now, creeping up into third. Dictate Ross's fourth. They really are beginning to bunch down. This is going to be an exciting finish. I think sweeping around the outside. Look at this Napa for Jimmy Raid. And taking Maritza with it as well. Those two have come right through from the back now to come through to challenge. Also trying to get through there. Look like Chrysalis Future. But now as they race away from us and make their way towards the business end of the race, it's Napa for Jimmy Raid who's swept into the lead. Napa for Jimmy Raid from Mar Maritza in second. Anaheim's now dropped back into third. Then comes Take the Long Road. Chrysalis Future and Surge after that one. Then Dictate Ross as they get over the 19. There's only two more to take. There's a faller at the back there. Zami Thinkar's gone. But it's Maritza and Napa for Jimmy Road. And these two have pulled clear of top weight. Take the long road. Who's valiantly trying to battle on. Then comes Christmas Future. Ninth edition and Victory Heights. Inquisitress Winks over the second. That's, that's a final ditch. And it's Napa for Jimmy Road in the lead. Napa for Jimmy Road. But Maritza on the inside is battling back. They're clear of the long road. And then Inquisitress Wink, who's come from absolutely nowhere. Compact Bonnie Bird on the Lord's also come through from the back. But these two are in a right battle as they race down towards the final fence then. They've got just under, just over two furlongs to go. It's Maritza in the green on the inside. The grey on the outside is Napa for Jimmy Road. They're five lengths clear of the rest of them who are now headed by Bird on the lawn. They come down towards the final fence. It could all come down to the jump. Maritza on the inside. On the outside, Napa for Jimmy Road jumps in better. Napa for Jimmy Road goes a length up. There's still a furlong to go. Maritza's trying to fight back. Napa for Jimmy Road from Maritza. Then comes Take the Long Road and Bird on the lawn. Compact Bonnie and Inquisitor's Wink trying to run on, but it's Napa for Jimmy Road. It looks like he's getting the upper hand and racing up towards the line. Napa for Jimmy Road is going to take this one. Napa for Jimmy Road wins it from Maritza second. Take Long Road Brave in third. Inquisitor's Wink fourth. Then Compact Bonnie and Bird on my own. Blue Benny finished well. And all the way back to Lakota Ghost. 
and Napa Pajiri Raid throws down his credentials for the Grand National with a win over four miles and a furlong and off a pretty low weight though Maritza as well that one I think ran in the National last year take the long road brave race off top weight in third I think it was just rink, wink despite some mistakes early on run on well for fourth as well but you can see the bottom weights really took it apart from the favourite but Napa Pajiri Raid the winner for David Robertson Maritza for Thomas Rogers was second take the long road Joshua was the third in was just wink for Craig Allen was fourth and Compact Bonnie for James Shea was fifth.